It's funny because people often say to me, wow, your life just changed overnight. And I can look at that and go, that's totally true. What's going to go in there? Everything's changed and nothing's changed, except I'm very tired. <laughs> so this is the, um, the 10 Famer. So we had about 25,000 orders to fulfil from the crowdfunding campaign. And that created what was kind of chaos. There's a whole lot better. I like how this is routed out because that just means that the bees can't escape. You don't have to have that little, little block. I can't say it was all smooth sailing with the manufacturing because we were putting everyone under pressure to try and get, meet our, what we crazily had said during the crowdfunding time. Yeah, we'll just deliver by December. Yeah, sure. You know, we had no idea. So good that we can have FSC sustainable hoop pine right here in Australia. We managed to fulfil them finally in April this year, which was a tremendous relief. So we have about 35 staff locally and three factories, two in Brisbane, one in Portland, Oregon, and six or seven warehouses around the world all stocked up so that we can get product to people quite quickly now. It's just saying, look, taste this. It brings it into the office. I'm working a lot harder than I would like to, actually. It's um, eight days a week at the moment. I think I might try bees. <laughs> An office job just isn't me. So we had to do something that was a bit different to a normal office. So we've got this beautiful house up on the hill. It's a really nice environment. It's more like a home where family and friends all are together doing all the things necessary in order to grow this amazing company. It's great, we can run the office how we like. We don't have to wear shoes. The only time I've ever worn a suit is when we won the Good Design Awards and I had to borrow a suit and jump up on stage to receive that award. After 15 years of living in a shed here on the property, we've now been able to afford to move into this beautiful house. David, that is so beautiful. Life for me was always good. I don't need super yachts and pools full of champagne. I'm still driving my old Hilux and I'm still running it off old frying oil from the chip shop. Mama. Hey, darling. It's all about how you define luxury, isn't it? Because our life before was luxury. Look at where we live. It's amazing. There's all of this chaos and stress going on in the business world to try and get everything delivered, yet you come home and it's dada, and it just melts your heart and brings me right back to the present. Oh, you want to give some to Stewie? Money's made life a little bit easier. My partner, Michelle, has a new car. Her old one was pretty crappy, so, yeah. I guess life's the same but different. Our relationships, you know, the people I love, all the same. Jolly. He just learnt how to say bees. bees. <laughs> Look at all of those bees. Look, they're making honey. He loves bees. He sees bees everywhere. All right, you're going to sit on the seat? He seems naturally interested in mechanics and machines. He loves being under the bonnet of the car and tracing where the wires go. Perhaps he's another generation of inventors. We'll pump up the tyre. Still haven't been to Fraser Island, but we'll get there soon. flavour of this.